Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. And have you ever wondered how many eyes do spiders have? You know, most people think that they only have eight and that's all there is. Well, today's video, I'm gonna talk about some different spiders out there, how many eyes they have, and what's the most common form for spiders to take. So most people, when they think of spiders, they think of eight legs, and then they also have eight eyes. And for the most part, that's usually correct, but there's some rare exceptions where spiders actually don't have eight eyes, but that definitely is the most common amount of eyes for spiders to have. So some of the most common spiders you might run into into your home, the first one is gonna be the domestic house spider. These spiders have also commonly been called barn funnel weavers. And that's basically based on the type of web that they create. Now, these spiders also have eight eyes and they have six facing the front and then a couple on the side. So this gives them a really wide range of vision as well to detect movement and their prey or potential threats as well in your home. The next most common spider is the brown house spider. Now these guys can have a color range basically from dark brown to black and are often confused with black widow spiders. The biggest thing that separates them from black widow spiders is that they don't have that red hourglass shape on their back and that's what really identifies a black widow spider and can separate them from those. These guys also have eight eyes but they're arranged in two rows of four. The next most common spider you might run into is going to be the black house spiders. Now these, you might not necessarily run into them in the US as they're mostly found in Australia, New Zealand, and Japan, but these guys are venomous, but at the same time, not really dangerous, where that's really the case with most spiders, is that they are venomous, but they aren't dangerous to humans. They're really only dangerous to their prey. And at the same time, spiders rarely bite people to begin with. So that's another thing that you don't necessarily need to worry about. But interesting about these guys is that their females rarely ever leave the web whatsoever. It's mostly the males that are out and about. And these guys also have eight eyes as well. Another common spider you might run into are the giant house spiders. Now at the same time, they're not usually found in the US for the most part. They're gonna be typically found in caves and in the outdoors, but recently they've been going more into homes as well. You'll typically find these spiders in Europe, Asia, and Africa, but recently, uh, in the past years, they've been making a move towards the Pacific Northwest of the US as well. So you might see some in those areas too. These guys also have eight eyes and they come in the form of two rows of four. Another interesting fact about these guys is they're actually one of the fastest recorded spiders on record. So while they have that vision ability of having eight eyes, they also have incredible speed to track down and catch their prey. The next common spider you might run into your home are the southern house spiders. And these are kind of like it sounds, right? They're usually found in the southern states in the US, Central America, as well as South America. And these spiders are often confused with brown recluse spiders. Now, the females of this species almost look like mini tarantulas. They're a little bit bigger than the males, but then the males, again, are often confused for brown recluse spiders, one of the most dangerous spiders out there. Now, one of the big things that separates these spiders from brown recluse spiders is they lack the violin markings that a brown recluse spider has. On top of that, this spider also has eight eyes, where a brown recluse only has six eyes. Moving on from there is the brown recluse spider. That's another spider you may find in your home. Again, more often than not, these spiders are confused with other spiders because there's a couple factors that can help determine if you have a brown recluse or not. But these guys usually range in color from a light brown to a dark brown. Uh, like I said, they're one of the most dangerous spiders that they are uh, highly venomous. They are dangerous to humans if you are bit. But again, overall spiders rarely bite humans to begin with. But if you have these in your home, you definitely want to reach out to a pest control service to help you get rid of those. But again, these spiders actually only have six eyes and they're arranged in pairs. On top of that, they all have that violin shape pattern uh, on them. So that's another distinguishing factor between them. But again, it can be hard to really determine what kind of spider you're dealing with. You need to look at the patterns, the coloration, 
the eyes, the positioning of the eyes. So there's a lot of different factors that go into determining what spider is what. So that's another big reason why if you have spider issues in your home, we recommend reaching out to a pest control service to get the proper treatment for your home. Now there's other spiders that don't have eyes at all. One such spider is called the Cynopoda scurion. It's actually uh, found in dark caves where it never actually leaves the cave its entire life and has basically evolved to not have eyes whatsoever. Now that might seem like a big deal, but actually all the spiders that we've been talking about really don't have the best eyesight anyway, right? So even though they have eight eyes, they're positioned all over their head, it's very basic eyesight where many of these spiders their eyes just only have one lens, so they're nowhere near as sophisticated as our eyesight, but they can detect movement and can again react very quickly if there's prey or predators coming their way. But for the most part, spiders in general have just really evolved to hone their other senses. So they can detect noise, they can detect vibrations um, from potential threats or things prey in their webs. So again, even though this spider has no eyes, it really doesn't make a big difference on them gathering food and surviving. And again, they've thrived for, you know, hundreds if not thousands of years without having eyesight whatsoever in these caves. You know, similar uh, animals have evolved to have this as well. When you look at fish in the very deep, deep ocean where sunlight never even reaches, they don't really have eyes either. So again, it can be done, uh, but this is one unique spider that doesn't have eyes whatsoever. One of the few spiders though that does have decent vision are basically jumping spiders. And these guys are gonna have a couple bigger eyes. They still, for the most part, have eight eyes in all their forms, but they do have a couple big eyes, and those work a lot better than the tiny eyes that most spiders have. So these guys, they, they jump around, so they need to see their prey, they need to see things moving, so they have a slightly better vision. But again, overall, spiders in general, don't usually have the best vision to begin with, even though they have so many eyes. The last spider I wanna talk about is kind of a unique one where they don't have a set number of eyes. This type of spider is called Caponidae and they actually, depending on their life cycle, it could actually vary how many eyes they have. They can range from two up to eight eyes and even in between, they could have an odd number of eyes and even number of eyes. It varies from spider to spider. And again, it can also vary depending on what stage of their life cycle these spiders are actually in. So it's very interesting that they can range uh, depending on how old they are, what life cycle stage they're in, could depend how many eyes they have. But again, overall, there's a lot of different spiders out there. So again, uh, it can be really hard to identify different kinds of spiders in your home, even to train professionals. Like I said, some of the determining factors like color and size, you know, that, that might not necessarily dictate what kind of spider is what, where you have to look at their eyes, the positioning of their eyes, their skin color, their size, a lot of different factors that determine what spider is what. So it can be hard to get a right treatment for your home on your own, let alone through a professional. So again, that's one of the big reasons why if you have spider issues in your home, we really recommend reaching out to a trained professional pest control service to help you get rid of those spiders and properly treat your home for those issues. So if you do have issues like that, feel free to reach out to us over at rovepestcontrol.com. And then also, if you happen to be a first time customer with us, you can reach out to us at rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and any your information there to get $50 off your first service with us. So again, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll look forward to talking to you more soon.